Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The biggest SBC of FT25 is about to be dropped, and it's one that so many people, myself included, will probably want to do. Guys, it's the magic formula of a very hype player in real life and a very meta player in this current game via an SBC that we all could obtain. It is going to impact the market big time. And it already has. We had a wild market day yesterday as there was a lot of market crashing for things that we did not expect to see. We're going to talk about that. And it's only going to continue today with Rivals Rewards and still another massive SBC that we await leaks or news on. If you're excited for the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, let's get into yesterday's Wednesday content, which really wasn't a whole lot. But we had the first Icon player pick. Of course, it's a loan of the year. It's an 84 rated squad, which, man, I'm sure EA gets a lot of people to do this SBC because it's an icon player pick. Sure, it's a loan for 10 games. It's an 84 rated squad. To me, this is not worth doing. It's not worth doing because it's only a loan. Yes, you could look at it as, I'm just going to do this because I have a lot of fodder, and maybe you do. Maybe in your SBC storage, you have some extra fodder. Maybe that's fine, but it's just an 84 rated squad that, could be useful in that player SBC or other player SBCs upcoming. It's kind of like an opportunity cost thing. So if you have tons of fodder and you're balling in that regard, then maybe you just go and try it out to try to get a cracked base icon loan for weekend league to be annoying and sub on a loan icon in the second stages or second half, late stages of the game, right? You could do that, but I'm going to be saving my fodder personally just because I don't have a time. Now, there was a challenge SBC yesterday as well. With an RTTK Challenge 3, this one's an untradeable mega pack. That's actually a really nice SBC. All of these RTTK challenges have been really good. It's a little bit, I mean, not hard to complete, but it takes a little bit of thinking with 31 chemistry and some other requirements in there. But I would get that one done so you have a chance at maybe packing something from RTTK Team 1 or save it for Friday with Team Number 2. Now, that was the SBC content, kind of all that we had yesterday. Of course, though, we had the brand new Team of the Week 3 featuring... A lot of cracked center backs. Adair Militao, Vandeman, of course, in there. Kim and Jay looks decent as well. Martinelli got a really nice boost. Uh, Lautaro Martinez looks cracked. Guru Ritem looks nice as well. And, of course, Cole Palmer. I actually packed Cole Palmer's gold card from the 15K pack, which we're going to talk about here in a second, in the store, literally like 20 minutes before he got a team of the week. So that's a little bit of an unfortunate situation. But... I don't know, this team of the week so far, I think it might be actually one of the worst ones we've had of the three, personally. But, of course, Vandeven and Militao are insane, and, I mean, Stan Wade's great, Martinelli's great. It's not a bad team of the week. It's just at least maybe a little bit subpar comparatively to the other ones, but there's some great discard informs in here. This Jonathan David is going to be an insane investment close to discard for a hold for a long-term hold he's going to be insane for an evolution and his card stats looks even usable right now as well so some discard informs in there and of course some decent ones that you can maybe hit watch those cards today during rivals rewards because they're probably going to drop there oh one thing i did want to mention about mickey vandeman i was expecting this card to go down a lot his informs 270k i think he's going to drop today with rivals rewards for sure his gold card is still chilling right around 60,000 coins. He did not drop that much. I think it's just because he's super duper hyped and the inform has been pretty expensive compared to the in, uh, to the gold card. So a little surprised that Vandeman is not down as much as he is because a lot of the other cards, of course, that have gotten their um, golds invested in before they go out of packs do end up crashing in price. Remember last week with Luis Diaz and Florian Verts. So a little bit of a different trend with that Vandeman. But with more center backs coming out, I'm still very careful in that gold Vandeman. I will not be purchasing him myself. We didn't have an Evo yesterday either. And still, that kind of furthers the point with what we mentioned in yesterday's video about EA maybe having an unresolved glitch here with that power serve Evo, power surge evo and maybe it's just the fact that maybe they know how to fix it but they don't know what to do with people that have already completed the evo for a compensation sort of situation i don't imagine there would be compensation or anything like that but i'm sure they're trying to figure out how to resolve it and what to do i know they are aware of the issue guys and for sure now in fact uh but they have not actually commented anything on it or said anything so 
We are still awaiting any sort of news on evolutions. But we did have something that was unexpected. Guys, last night, a little bit before I started recording the YouTube video that we posted yesterday, we had new packs in the store, and I've actually opened them already, so I can't show them to you. But I did tweet about them, and I'm sure a lot of you guys saw them in the store yesterday because everybody was talking about them. The For You section of packs, remember last year we had this in FC24, is back with the one coin pack and the 15,000 coin pack. Now, the one coin pack is an insta do. It's just one rare gold player. It's nothing super crazy, it's untradeable, but it's one coin. Obviously, you got to get that one done. I packed some uh, gold 83 from it, I think. Yeah, 83 Ericsson is who I packed from that. Boom, nice. Now, the other pack that is starting to crack, well, not starting to, has fully crashed the market. One of the two reasons the market crashed yesterday is this early doors pack. And after I recorded the video yesterday, I tweeted this. I was like, guys, this is going to be a pack that impacts the market, and oh, did it yesterday during the day. 15,000 coins is cheap enough for people to want to go open a pack that is in the store, especially when it includes an 80-plus rated player and the fact that it is tradable, guys. It's cheap. Everybody's going to, going to go ahead and do that, especially if they have more than 15K because you might make some profit off of it. And guys, looking at the responses to this tweet, like... Got a Rauho, got Sam Kerr. Yup, it helped. Then nah, that guy's gotta be capping. No way he packed Dino from that pack. There's no shot that's a real screenshot, right? That might be. That's actually insane. Kiesa, look at this one. Terstegan and Nico Williams. Valverde from this guy's pack. Like, you know, some of them are bad, obviously. This guy got a bad one. But for 15,000 coins, that's draining a lot of coins from the market and at the same time bringing in tradable supply to the market. This is the first reason, once again, why the market dropped off so much yesterday. Now, there is a second reason. That is the big leak that we're going to talk about. But this market, I think those drafts, though, those packs dropped late Wednesday night, like early, sorry, early Wednesday morning, late Tuesday night, right around here. And then after that, it was just the market was just kind of in a fall. And then, of course, we had the leaks. And then I think you see this big drop of content, which we have been seeing the big drops of content every day on the index or most days. I think a lot of people probably just logged on and saw it at content, opened the pack then, and that dropped the market even further. And we have a very similar situation to what we had in terms of the market of last week right before division rivals rewards guys everything on the market was dropping yesterday and it has again created the same situation wednesday market crash this time for different reasons i don't think we would have had a, as big of a market crash yesterday than if we wouldn't have had those 15k packs in the store honestly i think we would have had a market dip but nothing like this huge crash that we had yesterday and the prices that went down as much as they did but it is creating a situation as you see i have literally no coins i've invested again for rivals rewards because as we talked about in yesterday's video too i do expect some of these cards to bounce up in price like look at alexia puteas she's 533,000 coins she started the day yesterday and wednesday at almost 600k she went down to 530 went all the way back up to 570 now she's back down to 530 again i think it's this part of the top tier market that is the safest and most likely to rise today with the rivals rewards kind of like we talked about yesterday i'm liking the flips for this again today guys because the market has dropped so much it's got to rebound a little bit and a lot of people are still looking to buy teams before foot champs comes out tomorrow on Friday. The safest investments, in my opinion, are going to be out of packs cards, as always. You could look at some informs from Team of the Week 1. We've seen Usman Dembele. He was down very low. Lamine Yamal, it's a tough one, but he could rise a little bit. Gabriel, Rodman, too. And maybe even some Team of the Week 2 cards, like Florian Verts, Luis Diaz, Bremer, and Rafinha. He's pretty low right now. Some of those could rise a little bit today if you want to go the safest route possible on investments. But I think a lot of people are going to be going for golds. Also, you got to shout out the icons and the heroes as well. Those are going to be great opportunities, uh, bring great opportunities to be flipping and trading today on the market as there should be some market inflation after division rivals rewards. But of course, as we always talk about, and as again, we talked about, if you want to hear more talk about the rivals reward situation, we covered it in yesterday's video too. I want to go over it quickly today. I am expecting to see some supply today too, because there's good packs that are going to be giving out with rivals rewards. But as we saw last week for the first time, we saw prices rise after rivals rewards very, very well. So I'm looking at the top tier, the most meta players that people are going to want to upgrade to. But again, we will have supply. So you want to be very, very careful about those lower rated cards and the low tier. Those cards are probably going to drop even lower. They could have some rebounds. 
but I'd be careful with them. If you want to be investing at Rivals Rewards, I think that's a good time or even right before it, like I have just now with some of these investments, or a couple hours after Rivals Rewards with the supply coming in, bids are going to be fantastic. And the Team of the Week 2 last week, I remember very vividly that cards from Team of the Week 2, like Verts, he went from like 200k to 260. Like after Rivals Rewards, an hour or two after, all the way to like an hour before content, there was a huge spike on some of the informs because they dropped off so much. But then people got coins, of course, from their rewards and they wanted to go try them out. You saw a really big rebound. Watch of Vandevin, Martinelli, Militao, maybe Lautaro, and Cole Palmer even for moves like that today. If you want to get in the market and get some investments there, I think that's a great opportunity to buy. And then also, I think we have to mention Road to the Knockouts. Where's my tab? There it is. These cards are down, of course, as well. Alvarez is down horrendous because Atletico got smacked yesterday. So that, of course, means that he is less progressing towards an upgrade and, and did not progress with a win uh, towards an upgrade there for Atletico Madrid. So he's down bad. But a lot of this team is down bad because, of course, they got packed more. They're going to get packed more today. Guys, I still don't love long-term investments out of this team just yet i want to see what team two looks like i think we'll have an opportunity to buy these cards on the weekend but they are rare it's something we have to remember as there were not as many store packs open this last week for sure or like a super crazy number of uh, tradable packs there were the 15k packs of course but i don't think that supplied these too much what i will tell you is stock one of these stock one of these uh, even a noah lang that card is going to go crazy for an evo at some point with those stats 86 rated Still could upgrade, but he's down crazy, of course, because they didn't perform well yesterday. Van de Beek is down like mad as well. Any of these car cards that are under 20,000 coins, if you've got like 250k or more, kind of like a discard inform, it's worth stocking one in your club. You never know how that team's going to perform over the course of the Conference League, Europa League, Women's Champions League, or the Champions League. There could be some coins that you could be making there. So I'm not investing in any of the bigger cards right now. I want to wait till the weekend to see how the market shakes out, of course, with Foot Champs and Team 2 of Road to Knockouts coming, which we're going to take a look at leaks in this video today as well. But let's get to the big news. Hot off the press, a SBC leak. Remember last week we were excited for Diogo Jota? And that was like, oh, this could be a good one. Depends on how EA upgrade the card. And then we were underwhelmed. Well, we're going all the way straight to the top tier here with a huge SBC leak for a player, like I mentioned, that is not only just hype in the real world of football after he came onto the stage last year at the Euros and in La Liga, but with a very very meta card in this game. Nico Williams, his left mid card, 85 rated gold item, is one of the most used wing players on the right and the left. He's got rapid plus for the sprint boost, 90 something pace, 93 pace on this card. This guy's very, very meta and a lot of people use him. He's 100,000 coins for goodness sake. He's getting an SBC coming road to the knockouts team too. Guys, this probably is our Friday SBC. That's when we get the big name player SBCs. The first player SBC usually leaked is the first one we see as well. Same thing for Jota last week. I'm expecting this tomorrow and Friday with team two. This is crazy. This is going to be probably an SBC that most of the community wants to do just for the meta situation of this card. He's got the five-star weak foot, the four-star skills. No upgrades needed there. I doubt they're going to make him 5-5 five, five in October. But this gold card, of course, as you would expect this league, dropped off a cliff. He went from 130,000 coins down to 100k where he is now. He could go up a little bit today after Rivals Rewards but for people that don't know there's a leak or just want to use the card. But this would be a card I would be selling just in case. He's still going to be in packs. He's probably going to drop this weekend anyway, but if you have an SBC for a card like this, of course it depends on the price. There's going to be a lot of people completing it. I think people are going to do this regardless of the price, and there's one thing that worries me about this Nico Williams is what we've already seen with Diogo Jota and Alan St. Maximin. Both of those SBCs, we would argue, are under upgraded and overvalued in terms of the price. There's always that live card tax for some of these road to the knockout players. We saw that with Jota and ASM. I hope they get it right with this card. They need to. This could be an SBC that we think back to three, four months from now and be like, man, remember that Nico Williams SBC during RTTK Team 2? That SBC was insane. That's the hope for an SBC like this, for a player that we could use for a month or two months that could be meta enough and usable enough with the potential to upgrade as well with the Europa League live status. 
I hope this is a banger, guys. Now, for a cost of that Nico Williams, if the gold card's 100,000 coins or 130K, and they're giving him the same type of plus one and plus two upgrade, which is all that I'm really going to expect. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, Nico Williams is going to get plus threes, fours, and fives, an absolutely juiced card. We've already seen what they've done to Jota and to ASM and the SBC cards. They get a smaller upgrade, right? I'm thinking an 87 ridden Nico Williams with 94, 95 pace. I don't know if he's going to crack 80 shooting, uh, probably 80 passing and high 80s dribbling, right? But I'm thinking it's going to be a 250 to 300,000 coin SBC. EA is not going to let this one go lightly. We're going to have the live tax here. So the next question is, do we need to invest in fodder? Personally, I don't love fodder yet because I think fodder this weekend for foot champs is going to get slammed from all of the high rated packs tradable, especially guys, we have 85 tens and 84 tens that will be open for people, not very many people, but people that get rank one in weekend league rank two rank three. I think there's even 84 times tens in those rewards. I'd have to double check. That's really a lot of fodder going to be coming onto the market. I personally think that fodder is going to drop this weekend. So I'm not investing really in any of it at the moment. So could it go up though before uh, then? Yes, maybe. I think today during Rivals Rewards, you could get on some bids if you want to in some areas, but I'm really just waiting on fodder until we see the weekend league rewards. I want to see how much it supplies the market in terms of everything, not just fodder, but in terms of like the meta cards as well. This weekend is going to be a huge learning experience for the market. So I don't think I would invest in fodder for Nico Williams unless it's a player where you're like, Nate, this is a no questions asked. I will do this SBC, whatever the cost. And if that's the case, maybe stop up on a couple of 87s, 8s, and 9s just to be safe, but get them on bid today during Rivals Rewards, and you should get them a little bit cheaper. Now, I said leaks as well. We have Road to the Knockout Team 2 leaks, and of course, we've actually had these for a couple of days, and we haven't covered them exclusively on the channel, but that's not that's because really they haven't been 100% confirmed just yet. We've had like a few players, but we don't have a full team. I'm sure we're going to have more confirmed leaks today on Thursday. Virgil van Dyke is one of the biggest names that has been leaked. I even commented on this leak tweak saying, how much is this guy going to cost? I'm saying 3 mil. Jude Bellingham's card is like 2 mil on the market for his Road to the Knockouts. VVD... He's going to be like two and a half or three mil as well, in my opinion. We'll have to see where he ends up. But that's going to be probably not a huge upgrade, right? Small upgrade over his gold, but it's VVD. It's going to be crazy expensive. Liverpool got a win yesterday as well, so they're looking good for upgrades. The second Liverpool live card, of course, we have the Joda as well. That's a big name. Harry Kane. This is the only fodder card that I would maybe say buy one or two of. And I picked one up just a little bit ago for 32K. He's getting a road to the knockout team two player item as well. Love a good Champions League live Harry Kane item for Bayern. Of course, wins on deck for them too. Looking good for upgrades for him. We've got Kai Havertz for Arsenal. He's going to be another Arsenal player. Or I guess that's actually the first Arsenal player released for that upgrade potential and Loftus Cheek, who I'm actually evolving and maybe a lot of you guys evolved as well. This is kind of the beginning of that. Oh, there's a sick Evo out. Well, there's going to be a new promo card for that sick player a week or two after, or maybe even less than that, that Evo comes out, right? So Loftus Cheek had a sick Evo. Now he gets a promo card. He's going to be in team two, as well as Midema from the women's Manchester City team, no longer with Arsenal. Now, this allegedly is a list of all the leaked players, including Barcola. Remember, that was leaked last week as well. The Garnacho, the Dybala, those were leaked last week. I think those are probably accurate. And then some of the other players like Gusto and Isco that we were thinking was going to be a mini release or in team number one that weren't released. Julian Brandt as well. That's a confirmed card that was shown to us by PlayStation in the menu. So that 87 rated Julian Brandt is the legit version. I think we're going to have more news on RTTK team two today on Thursday. If we have some more leaks, we'll be watching out for that very closely, but I would, I would treat this with a little bit of a grain of salt, but I think the players that we just looked at here in full with the VVD, the Kane, the Havertz and the Loftus Cheek and Miedema, those are probably in team two. So it's looking interesting. I don't know. Team two greater than team one. That's going to be a conversation we're going to have to have as we see more leaks and talk about that. But there's a lot of excitement for that coming tomorrow. Of course, I'm going to try to see if I can get a couple of packs stacked up. Maybe that mega pack SBC but there's still one more SBC that could come out tomorrow and news that we're looking into today as well. Guys, there's just so much going on at the moment, content-wise, so much that could be coming. This is the one that I'm mentioning. La Liga Player of the Month, Mbappe, Lamine Yamal. I don't think Inaki Williams is in the conversation. It's between Lamine Yamal and Mbappe. Mbappe has more goals. Lamine Yamal has the same number of contributions, goals, and assists. They each have five. 
A lot of people want Laminia Mall, myself included. That would be so hyped for an early game. SBC, a Laminia Mall that would be way more affordable than an Mbappe. We can have an Mbappe player of the month in December. That's fine by me. I think a lot of you guys agree. Some of you want the Mbappe. I think Mbappe might win. That's just, it's Mbappe. He had more goals, and goals usually wins this award. But I'm mentioning this once again because the voting is closed, and Player of the Month last year, we had Kubo on October, I think it was like 6th, which was the first Friday in October on Road to the Knockouts, Team 2. It's possible this SBC could be leaked today. Watch out on Twitter. This is going to impact the market as well. If Mbappe is leaked, Mbappe's gold card is going to go down, and you're going to see probably Lamine Yamal's card go up. I actually picked out two Lamine Yamal in form for 57,000 coins because he was another card that dropped off a lot yesterday. He's still almost there. I'm taking a little bit of a gamble because I think if Mbappe wins, this card will spike up as people are like, Darn, this is the only Lamine Yamal card that I can use. Also, it's an out of packs inform investment. Can I afford that? 56k? I guess I have three now. This is also a card that could just rise a little bit today because people that want to use Lamine Yamal and don't want to use his gold card are getting more coins from rivals. And now I'm truly broke with 23,000 coins and can't buy anything else. So watch out for that card today as well on a Thursday with rivals rewards. Now, I haven't even mentioned Thursday content. That's because I'm not expecting much. But let's quickly cover that today. Of course, Thursdays, in terms of the content, always bring us one thing for sure. Marquee matchups, which I actually did last week. If you want to get this done, decent set of packs. Uh, new set of marquee matchups this week for sure. All depends on the packs, on how much supply there's going to be. But one of the reasons that we usually try to sell all of our investments and flips that we make on a Thursday for Rivals Rewards before the content drop is because we usually see some supply at uh, 6 p.m. content with Rivals, um, not after Rivals, but with marquee matchups. So watch out for that today because I think that could drop some prices. I also think there's maybe a slight chance for one last RTTK player SBC. And then, of course, the weekly objectives will be refreshing so you can level up and get more SP. Check out that, of course, in the weekly objective section. And uh, good luck on your Rivals rewards, too. Here's really quickly what I've invested in for today's Rivals Rise. Get on the bids, guys. This is a great... Look at this. This is proof of getting on bids can make you coins. Bon Mati was 230 at her lowest yesterday. I was able to somehow pick some up on bid for 220 and 217. Really hoping that her car today being 91 rated and being really rare can go to like 270, 280. I can make some really sweet profit here. And you guys know I love a good out-of-packs gold investment. I made coins last week on Verts and Rafinha and Luis Diaz. And now I'm doing it with Lautaro Martinez. He's not as hyped as some of those guys for sure, which is why I only bought a couple of him. But I picked these up at 45 to 46K. He's already 48. And he's out of packs because his inform is in packs. And one thing that I like to look at with an out of packs investment is, is it a player that a lot of people like to use? This guy has Finesse Shot Plus. Links to DeMarco. Links to Taram. Yeah, people like to use him. So I hope that he goes up since he's out of packs. Maybe like seven to ten thousand coins that would be mint and then uh i did pick up a teo hernandez as well because guys i look at teo hernandez and i'm like man there's probably a lot of people that are using ferland mendy as a french left back right now in like meta elite tier meta teams that want to use this guy oh my goodness he's already up he's four hundred and twenty nine thousand coins this dude is so rare it's ridiculous and i think a lot of people are going to be able to afford him after rivals today so i picked one up at 395 and uh we're sending that there so that's kind of my investments at the moment that you see right there it's the tail i do have about 1.3 million coins after yesterday completing a robbie keen flip for some nice profit um as well as a del piero flip who i used in game his fin uh, finesse plus man that was the first time i used it that was Unreal. So yeah, you see the Laminia Malls there. You see a couple of Altaro Martinez's and uh, the, the Teo Hernandez. That are, those are my investments right there. What I would tell you is if you're watching this video and there's still some Rivals Reward action going around, go on Footbin, sort by golds, and look through these players and look through who is low. Jude Bellingham is three. Ooh, he's 320. Just kidding. Footbin showed 302 there. Needed to refresh that. That's the type of stuff you want to look at today during Rivals Rewards, right? Usman Dembele is still very low. Some of these cards are actually bouncing back a bit. I like Militao. He's out of packs. His inform is 300k. This card's 130. Very popular center back. La Liga. A lot of hype there, right? With the Player of the Month and the Nico Williams. That could be a good investment today as well. Sam Kerr is rare. Griezmann goes up almost every single week. Um, just stick to the high tier stuff, guys. Stick to the high tier stuff. As you can see, some of it's already going up, but I think you're going to have another chance a little bit later during rivals to get on some bids get on bids and watch the team of the week too because these cards after supply they'll dip 
then they'll rise. There's going to be opportunities to make coins today, guys. I'd be surprised if the market didn't go up because of how much it dropped yesterday and how many coins people will be getting and wanting to upgrade their teams with. But I'll be selling most of these cards probably by the content drop today just to be safe. And if you want to be the safest of all, quick flip some icons, quick flip some heroes. So that should help you guys out in terms of timing on the market. I'm still being a little careful on buying teams. Um, you could buy some teams today with the rivals, go play some games, get qualified or whatever. I still don't know if I love holding on to teams into tomorrow and Friday though. I, I don't know if I do. We're going to have to watch the market today, see how much it goes up and then really watch it on Friday. If you want to be safe, like we can hold off on buying teams a little bit into maybe a little later this weekend, maybe Friday night into Saturday. Once we see how much that pack supply impacts the market, if the demand picks up, we could see prices rising by then. And then we could see them keep rising. And we bought, need to buy on Friday, or if there's a lot of supply from those insane packs in the Champs Rewards, we can see prices drop off this weekend. It's going to be a really crazy market this weekend, guys. So buckle in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, drop a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below if you have any questions as well. I'll be active in the comments as active as I can, trying to get you guys some questions answered. And make sure to check out the second channel where we open the 15,000 coin pack Oh, I already said who I got. Dang it. That's kind of a buzzkill. Anyway, watch that video on the second channel, though, because that's yesterday's RTG upload, and there were some definitely interesting things and continual market conversation happening there. Appreciate you guys. See you in the Twitch stream today. Link is down below in the description. Catch you guys there. It's been Nathan McCann. Have a great day. Peace. Out.